La cravache. Bon, la cravache, c'est un vaste débat qui fait rage en France, en Angleterre, en Irlande, un peu partout maintenant dans le monde, le bien-être équin et tout ça, dans l'accord, très bien. En Europe du Nord, en Scandinavie, les règles ont été extrêmement strictes, comme souvent dans le Nord, et nous avons demandé à un utilisateur expérimenté, l'entraîneur de légende Soren Jensen, 68 ans, qui a tout gagné déjà en Suède, en Scandinavie, au Danemark, a gagné aussi cette année à Dubaï, etc., placé le groupe 1 en France, son avis. Soren, as a user, what do you think about the new whip rules uh, in uh, Scandinavia? And can you explain, explain them? Yeah. In uh, Scandinavia, which is three countries, Norway, they have been uh, not allowed to even carry a whip in the races for the last maybe five or ten years. At time. In Denmark and Sweden, we are allowed to carry the whip, but we are down to three. Uh, sorry, we are not even allowed to use the whip. In but racing. you carry, but you don't use. So why do you carry? That's for, for safety reasons. In case there is a horse or going to mm. one of the sides, you mm. can you can manage to get it back. There is some sharp bends on the on the racetrack, so it, it's, it's it's for safety reasons. But to be clear, pour être clair, en Norvège, pas de cravache du tout. En 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 Danemark et en Suède, on peut en avoir une, mais juste pour des raisons de sécurité. Donc, we cannot the jockey cannot just do that during the final. No, not even that. Not you even. can uh, you get fined, or in worst case, you get disqualified in case you if you are using the whip. Disqualifié. Yes, scratch. Right. And so. And so, and that's uh, because uh, we are now riding 2023. Uh, everything is changing. The social media, everything is on. Uh, on uh, yeah, mm. uh, they put it on the uh, on the website, website or internet, and, uh, and everything is goes, it goes so quickly. Everything, and uh, the annual health right, and uh, mm. they are very strict on everything. They will uh, watching everything. So, and what we have been using here without the web for the last couple of years. I think we still see some very, very beautiful finishes. Uh, I don't think we need the whip to see some beautiful races. Uh, so, uh, from my point of view, I, I think it's, we are now riding in 2023, so that's how we have to cope with, uh, with that. But you don't, you, do you regret? Or you don't regret finally at the end today as a trainer, as a professional trainer, you need to win some races every every year. Do you regret the whip or not? Or sportively, it doesn't make any difference. I don't think it makes any difference. No difference. It, it, you still get winners. And well, sometimes I've heard sometimes I say you can, don't get the right winners, but I think maybe we should turn the other way around and say you really get the right winners now because you now you get the honest horses to win the races, and that's. The brave horses. The, and the, at the end, you get the honest horses to breed on. So, from my point of view, I don't have any problems with that. Uh, as you say, we're not allowed to use the whip. Simply. Yeah. So yeah, simply. simply. You have the bravest horses and not the lazy horses who need to be kicked on to... Something like that, yeah. Mm. Exactly, yeah. That's my point of view, yeah. That's very interesting. Thank you very much, Sorin. You're welcome.